Hello, Afro Wax. Now, first things first. Uh, Mr. Bevis Musson, the sensei, told me that uh, I had this little monkey on sideways. I think he meant upside down. Anyway, I fixed that. And uh, the windows that everyone seems so utterly furious with are... Uh, these ones, I mean, I still can't really see what what you've all got yourself a, in a twist about. But, you know, there we are, there we are. Right, now then. Number five. Let's uh, just check in. Checking. Yes, that's it, that's number five. All right then, uh, let's do the null. Right then, now I've got to keep an eye on the time today because I've got a um, a very, very important call at 10 o'clock. Uh, so we shall move our little birch books out of the way and uh, down we go with this one. I think we've got a lot of lovely tiling today. Uh, so without further ado... Uh, let's commence now. I think I might because uh, we're doing tiling. I think we'll go. I think we'll go in. So I have to start today uh, with a piece of news that it, it may infuriate. Um, it may send some of you into a mild conniption, or uh, some of you may find it absolutely. Hilarious, but if I say to you that I wrongly, erroneously uh, interpreted Tanya uh, 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 Naldritz um, instructions. I've been I, I've been saying it all wrong. I've been saying I'm saying it entirely wrong. Uh, she has contacted me. She says, "Oh dear me." I mean, that's probably an appropriate response for what was going on yesterday. Oh dear me, she says. Oh dear me. It seems she starts. I made the pronunciation a whole lot worse. Mm. Mm. Um, I had edited my reply when I realised my mistake but obviously too late she says it's Tarnia T-A-R-N-I-A Tarnia 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 it's one thing I can't do, uh, Apple Wax, is uh, roll my R's, FYI. But I do enjoy trying. Tan. Ooh! <laughs> that was unexpected. Tan. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know why it's not just written like it in the first place, she says, but it isn't. And then she adds, I'm enjoying the bookshop, by the way. I've been put off by the basic comments, but I like it. Love the tree. Mm. Couldn't agree more. Tar, tar, 
So can you even believe it? it it's tar tar and not tar You're not really going to do this, are you? Ta God, we're not paying for this. I can't imagine anyone would find this annoying. Funeral trip. Wasn't that at all? I'm just sort of idly wondering how many of you I'm pushing to the brink of a mental breakdown with this. Just wondering, just idly wondering that. That doesn't want to go in. But anyway, can we just discuss that we're clearly doing some lovely tiling here, which of course is a great, great joy. Great joy. Very great joy. Um, we, oh my good! Oh good grief! Oh good grief! This will surely, surely get me an adjudication. But I've forgotten to start with the minifigure. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Let's let's just. So this is nice, and I do believe that this is the um, old man who lives next door, who is based on. The designer's father. I mean, so far, he looks like uh, Welsh dad Tony, to be honest. He looks like my dad. Hello. Hello there. Let's call you Tony. Let's pop you over there with the other minifigures. Super. Um, I hope I only get a minor adjudication for that, Mr. Graham Triggs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Point of order. Thank you. Anyway, right, Gary Blair, it was, the, as I said earlier, first floor windows, front white arched. I mean, honestly, he's so full of himself. So full of yourself, Gary Blair. Ugh, you, 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 you're turning into just as big a nemesis as the sensei Bevis Muss and Uncle Strawberry. Oh, such a suck. Sucky suck up, Gary Blair. Sucky suck. Gah, gee whiz. No one likes a sneak, Gary Blair. Nobody. Oh, hell. All right, that's enough. Stop it. You're just, you're just trying to create tension where there is none. I'm not, I'm not. Yes, you are. So just, we know what you're doing. So just pipe down. I mean, it's almost as if I have to sit here and chat to nobody for, for, for sometimes over an hour. It's almost as if. I mean, seriously, you try doing it if you think it's easy. Well, hmm, someone's got up the wrong, the wrong way this morning. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. One, two, three, four, five, six. I almost went for the wrong one then. That would have been a... A terrible error. A terrible error. Just checking I've still got it on the crook. Maybe I'll go to one for while we're doing this longy bit. This is jolly nice, isn't it? I always love this bit, as you well know. That's well documented in Afawak history. What I like about this bit of the build is I sort of have no idea what it's going to be. Other than a building, obviously, that goes without saying. But not a clue what will be within its walls. None. I find that rather thrilling. Don't you? Yes. Yes, we like it. 
like it too. Good, I'm glad you like it too. Um, Gary Blair enjoyed the the florid description of my dewdrop yesterday. He 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 has a, another question. He said, "Do you do you have one of your glass lenses obscured by sticking plaster too?" Well, actually, it's interesting you say that, Gary Blair, because um, if you uh, if you've been with me from the very beginning, the very very beginning when this crazy obsession with Lego really properly kicked off. And that was when I uh, started posting the little short videos of uh, the Ghostbusters firehouse. That's how this all began, how this craziness began. Um, if you remember that, you will recall that uh, quite a significant feature of those builds was the fact that I only had one arm on my glasses. Anyway, uh, I did use, some, well I didn't use a sticking plaster but I used sellotape uh, to try and keep that, uh, that glasses uh, arm on. Didn't work, didn't really work at all. Um, and then Georgie actually tried to super glue it back on and I'm afraid that that was sort of the end of that because it, 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 well, this is quite funny in, in a terrible way. Um, I started then getting numbness in my jaw and sort of incredible pain to the point where I genuinely thought I had some sort of neurological disorder and I am not joking when I say to you that it went so far it, I mean there, there was there were doctors appointments all sorts um, I ended up being sent for an MRI they thought I was dying I mean I kept all this from you obviously I didn't want you to worry and um, it turned out there was absolutely bog all wrong with me and what had happened was that um, the glasses were too tight on the side of my head. That's, that's what happened. I was literally just pinching a nerve that was giving me all these um, symptoms that could have been a brain tumour. I mean, I mean... All because I wouldn't go to the optician to um, just get my get my glasses fixed. I mean, what an absolute hoo ha! Absolute hoo ha! Anyway, at least I'm not dying. I mean, I might be an absolute idiot, but at least I'm not dying. That's the way to look at it, isn't it? Yes, Emma. If you say so. Wrong one. Wrong one. Need this one. Um, Gary Blair very much enjoyed the, 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 the gabling yesterday. He said, very pretty gable for so hard. Credit where credit is due. Yes, you're, you're right to praise it. Mr. Gary Blair, you're, you're right to do so. Bum, 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 bum. Now I'm trying something new today, which we will get to momentarily. But I'll show you. Now, normally what happens is I get up in the morning and I have my cup of coffee. And I have to spend often a considerable length of time writing down what all you crazy cats um, have messaged me uh, so that I can include it in club business. Hen look, see, 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 I've written it all out there. And um, today, Bevis and Uncle Strawberry 
this, uh, no, sorry, that Gavis is Uncle Strawberry, uh, and the VAR, that there was so much chit-chat, mostly from Uncle Strawberry, that I thought to myself, I mean, come on, um, oh no, where's it gone, there it is, um, I thought to myself, that's, uh, I can't write all that out, I'll be here an hour, um, so I have, I've got the old spare phone, and uh, I'm just going to scroll down. So that's that's a sharp thrill. That's a new development, isn't it? Anyway, we shall start with Mr. Grantrix, the uh, the official referee. And he says, um, I can understand you thinking it was a roof you were building, but I'm not sure where else you thought the bed was going to go. So he started off with a little bit of a telling off. I mean, that's all right. That's all right. I can live with that. It's not a terrible telling off, is it? I've had far worse. Oof. Oof. Gee whiz. Have I had far worse? Ooh-wee. Yes, you have, Emma. Oof. Oof. Some proper scorchers. Oh, a howler. Howlers I've had. Absolute howlers. Take it back on away with. Uh, uh, there, there was. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what it was yesterday, just in case um, it incurs the wrath of Mr. Grantrix, because he's sort of forgotten about it and he hasn't mentioned it. So let's not mention it today. Let, let's just keep that very much under our hat, unless Gary Blair snitches on me, <laughs> which he probably will. Um. What's the problem with this? Is oh come on! Oh no, everything's installing. What's going on here? What are the chances of this? Look, it's it's now installing for some reason. Oh, oh crumbs! Right, let's have a go, shall we? Oh, this is very annoying. This is really super annoying. And now, oh no, hate my life. Well, what turned out as a really brilliant idea has uh, just collapsed into a heap of horribleness. Right, let's start again, shall we? Okay, right. Yeah, Mr. Grimtrix. Uh, you may recall that Mr. Grimtrix um, and Bevis Muss and Uncle Strawberry uh, had a little bit of a set too yesterday vis a vis the town planner. And uh, Mr. Graham Triggs has, in a rather unusual and unexpected move, conceded. Um, totally conceded to. Uh, hang on a minute. To Uncle Strawberry. And he says, OK, Bevis Musson, you are right about the dangerously ramshackle nature of Ninjago City. Hold up. That won't, it's asking for that to go in between there. That's OK. But clearly Ninjago City has a different town planner to Lego City. See, he's got an answer for everything, hasn't he? That's why he's the referee. Bevis hasn't even dared to reply to that, I noted. Hasn't even dared. Let's just check that you can see that. I might go in again. I might go in again because this feels like lovely business. Thank you. Bevis had plenty to say about me doing some off-camera filming yesterday. Well, I know. I know what you're referring to. It was an accident. It was an accident, plus there was a mild panic occurring uh, concerning the the nest, which I obviously was putting on upside down, we now realise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Now then, um, 
Bevis. Let's get to Bevis. So this hair, you'll recall I, I wasn't enamoured of it. And uh, Bevis has said quite rightly uh, that with that hair, Mr. The Vart, he, he, sorry, he may be right about the bookshop being stuck firmly in, in the 70s. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I've still got the cough. Still got it. <clears throat> That's going nowhere, sadly. P.S. I'm enjoying this little build. FYI, quickly check on the time. Okay, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. No major hold-ups thus far. Now then, what's going on here? seem to keep missing out a little bit. Oh, I see. Right. Missed out this bit, gang. Back we go. Um, <coughs> now, uh, Bevis um, has asked that there should be no pumping or grinding. On relax with Lego. Well, okay. I mean, we 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 do our best, but you, I think you can't you can't constantly be uh, requesting Perry off of that there the little mix to come in and do the relax with Lego theme tune, which I think we've pretty much established is relax with Lego, relax with Lego. Are you feeling stressed? Then why not watch Relax with Lego and feel relaxed watching some lovely Tiffany. Just feel relaxed, relaxed. Relax why a woman who is 52 and has two degrees sits and talks to herself and has totally imagined arguments uh, with people she's never met. Why don't you do that? It's relaxing with Lego. Rela relaxing with Lego. Something along those lines. But if um, if Perry from Off of the Little Mix did it, then as we know, there, there would be all manner of... There'd probably be hot pants. Um, there would definitely be dancers. Um, there, there would be lots of hair flicks, and there, there would be a a pumping and and grinding vibe. I think there's, there's no getting away from that, uh, Bevis. Absolutely no getting away from that. So I think the time has come for you to just jolly well decide, um, what you actually want. I mean, do I have to do everything around these parts? Yes, you do, Emma. Yes, that's that's what you have to do. Uh, Bevis, uh, very much like uh, Gary Blair, is turning into quite the snitch. Quite the snitch. Um, he, and this is in full plain sight of the referee, uh, the VAR, Mr. Graham Triggs. He says, even if... The belt sound effect was unintentional. I still think it was dangerously close to a sass. I saw the subsequent two sound effects. I mean, what do you actually want, Bevis? Do do you want the, the VAR to give me a, a, a red card, which would, I presume, I mean, we haven't ever had to, to consider this. Um... But I'm presuming a red card would mean I was sent off the pitch for a length of time. Is that what you want? Is it? Is that what you want? Because if that happens, you know, there would be no uh, relax with Lego for however long that Mr. Graham Triggs uh, deemed the time was to be sent off the pitch for. That's, that's the reality. That's the reality of you snitching, okay? 
Sometimes you have to be quite firm with Uncle Strawberry Bevis Musson. I mean, seriously. Look, that's that's quite nice, isn't it? Don't know why it's bowl. Do 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 do. I wonder what this is going to be. Really got no idea. Do you think it's another? Um, no, I was going. I was going to say it might be a another flower shop, but I I can't imagine they would they would build another flower shop when we've got such a brilliant one on Assembly Square. We're proceeding nicely. Right, let's go back to uh, old Bevis. Oh yes, he thought that these things up there um, are called, hang on, let me get it right, finials. Finials, the twiddly bits on a building and he rightly says he, he loves it when you get a new piece like the microphones that suddenly start turning up all over the place as something else entirely yes you're you're right it's a lovely thing and also it sort of makes you feel like you you're, you're properly in the lego gang when you get those things and then you go oh yes that was that's from there or that was from there i have i have the same feeling with whips Whenever whips turn up and turn themselves into something rather marvellous. See also anything that becomes a lantern or a light. I enjoy those those little builds. Um, now we've got quite a lot from Bevis on being colour blind. Uh, which I will have to go through methodically. Methodically. Just getting this right. So he says he's not completely colour blind. I'm not completely colour blind. Uh, he just has issues with green, orange, and brown. I just have issues with green, orange, and brown. And then he tells me that um, his youngest is is quite a lot more colour blind than than he is. Uh, red, green, particularly. He tells me. And so he says, we occasionally have the ridiculous situations. I should be doing this in his voice. We occasionally have the ridiculous situation of us arguing over what colour something is and me being more right than him, but still wrong. Mm, you, you, wrong. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -bum. You, wrong. Be careful, Emma. Be careful, Emma, or you will sass him. Mm. Oh, look, a hinge. That's That always thrills me. How are we doing for time? How are we doing for time? Okay, I've still got 15 minutes. There may have to be a purr, a purrs. A purrs while I go and do the cook. Hang on. That'll be why. Well, I go and do a little call. Oh, look, are we making some steps? That'll infuriate Bevis. He hates a step up into a shop, absolutely loads them. Oh, this is good. You'll like this, Bevis. Right. Hello to you. Now, I do believe we've had these before, so we can't uh, declare. But will you please look at that? That's that's a fabulous little handrail. Thank you. That's fabulous. That can have a fabulous, absolutely fabulous. And that is going on. Ooh, it's going on there. Well, now 
I didn't see that coming. Did you? No, I didn't. Uh, back to Bellis. We've had quite fierce arguments about what colour something is, while I, hubby, and eldest son are gone in utter bewilderment. I mean, I slightly wish you'd film these so I could see them. Hmm. Now, I don't know what you mean here, Bevis, when you tell me that the roof section uh, is one stud too far back and that it should be flush with the wall at the back and have a slight lip slatch edge at the front. Hmm. Oh, I might have to have another look at that, but... So are you saying this, all of this is needs to be one forward? Because are you sure about that? I mean, I know what you mean about there. But look, look. Right, so mm, I might need some further um, elucidation on that, please. I'm not entirely sure. What you what you're wanging on about there? Wanging, yes, I said wanging. <coughs> now then, Bevis likes the use of the the slits in the in the Technic tubes to represent the bark. On the silver birch tree. He says it's gloriously simple and clever. And I love it. I love it. I love it. He's so overexcitable, isn't he? Uncle Strawberry. Gotta love him for it, though. I love it. Yes, all right. We know you love it. That'll do. Peep, peep ye down. Peep ye down, young man. Peep ye, peep ye down. You know that thing where you think, oh, I've got ages, and then you think, no, you haven't got ages. You've got about ten minutes, and you need to really get on with it now. I mean, it, it is entirely possible that I do get this done in ten minutes, because there aren't that many things left on the table. Again, when you look at this... Loveliness. Ooh. What's that? Well, if you please. And that's going. Where's that touching? Where's that touching? Not there. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, but this is all correct. This is all correct. Right. So how does that actually fix on? Hmm, maybe it is up here then. Hmm. Oh, this is good. This is gonna. This is going to ruin our um. Oh, there we are. Done it. I thought it was going to ruin our ten minute thing. I mean, it might have ruined our ten minute thing. That is very impressive. Very, very impressive. I'm giving that a. little lamp quite a basic one nothing special here okay and now some tiling what am I on I'll come out Friends, 
took the right one there. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No. Okay. So it does look. Oh, that's because I've started at the wrong place. All right. It's there. Right. Got it. Got it. I'm on it like a bonnet. Definitely the right place. Oh no, I've missed out a line. I've missed out a line. What an absolute <coughs> error. There we go. Right, now we're back on track. That was an easy fix, wasn't it? Super easy fix, brilliant. There we go. I have a feeling. Concentrating. All right. And a long one. Okay, so that's nice. Right, back to <coughs> back to Bevis. We've got seven minutes. Um, I mean, obviously, he gave me a massive sassing for the misplaced floor roof and a sideways bird's nest. I mean, but come on, please. Right now, this is the interesting bit. So uh, this is about color blindness. So he says that he has proto protonomaly, which is a defect um, in the sensitivity of the red receptor. And his youngest has deuteranomaly, which is a defect in the sens sensitivity of the green receptor. So we can both see color, but have different levels of difficulty with some colors. Uh, he sent me a chart, which if you go and look at the uh, Lego with oh, Twitter account, you can read it. Um, so he says he has issues with differentiating similar shades, especially greens, browns, oranges. But he can see the brightness of colours, which is why he tends to colour with very bright hues of green and orange. This is interesting, isn't it? And then he says his youngest has much more trouble actually seeing reds at all, especially in lower lights. So he can get red, black, purple, and even green mixed up. And then he says, apparently though, I'm better at telling shade of khaki apart than people with normal vision, which is a pretty rubbish superpower, really. He says, well, you say that, but you know, you never know. You never know where that scenario might, might, you know, come into, um, 
into great need. Oh, what do we make in here? That looks like a mouse trap, doesn't it? Are we putting down a little mouse trap? What's going in there? I think that might be a mouse trap. And look, scissors. What are, what are we making here, do we think? Scissors and a mouse trap. Hmm. Right, come on. We've got to get this done. Club business is now concluded. So it's time to uh, knuckle on down. 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 we think that is? Don't know. Really not sure. Oh look it's our old friend the bag. We now we haven't had that in the build so we'll give it a but um we have had a version of that in uh, one of the minifigures the fox minifigure. In actual fact. Right. Still got absolutely no idea what we're building here. So we've got a trap, scissors, bag, something over here. Right. over there. annoying isn't it see that's the problem when things are all a bit precarious and aren't quite tethered down yet uh, uh, now where's that where's it gone good grief i just found an enormous piece of lego on the floor Gosh. Just found, just found that. Don't think that's anything to do with this build, though. Well, this is annoying. How are we doing for time? Oh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit perilously close to having to rush off, which is a bit annoying. Oh, this is absolutely infuriating. This is infuriating.
case is actually really annoying. Really, really, really annoying. Crumbs. Flipping heck, that was painful, wasn't it? Now. No, it's definitely there. Okay. It's there. What's the time? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. I'm going to have to go. Right, I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Got myself a coffee as well. Right. No. Oh, we're making those first. Okay. So, I think it will go in. Oh no. More of these. I found that infuriating. Absolutely. This is slightly better way of doing it, but that previous method was just horrible. Horrible. Ooh, ooh. I mean, it's not, it's really not the firmest of things. Hmm. Let me just have a little look. Ah oh, yes, okay, that does go in there. Voila. Okay. Oh, horrible stairs. I really hate them. Though those are not nice to build. Um okay. This is interesting. Look how small that door is. Look. That's the tiniest door I've ever seen. Maybe we'll understand why there's such a tiny little door here uh, as we work out what this actually is. I mean, but I've never seen a door that small. Right. Now then. What's going on over here? Okay. Look, little veg patch. Pumpkin. Okay. This is fun. But again, what, what are we making here? What's in that bag? What is this? Who does this belong to? It's really not clear, is it? That might be it, gang. That 
might be it. Yes. That's it. I wonder if this is a basement. What do you think? That might be a basement because look, look at the height of the stairs. That's clearly going up to the front door. This isn't a proper room. I think that's a basement. This tiny door, I think it's a basement. That's my guess. But anyway, that uh, was bag five. Enjoy your nice it was too. See you tomorrow.